So we're here at the Giga Ohm Roadmap. So who are you? I'm Billy. This is PD. I'm the, the founder of Glashan, and PD is doing marketing for Glashan. And uh, so what is that? So basically, you can uh, take a picture of what someone's wearing with Google Glass, and we tell you what it is and where you can buy it. Really? Yeah. Like you do uh, clothes recognition. So basically, it's product recognition. Um, you take a picture of the product. Um, it, it tells what kind of color it is, the shape, um, and it gives you a list of similar products to what you take a picture of. Um, and then we have fashion stylists be able to recommend what that exact product is or similar products to it. Um, and then uh, the user can swipe through the different products and tap buy. Can you show the UI so, a little bit? Yeah. So you say, okay, Glass, I want this. You say, okay, Glass, I want this. You yeah. just look at someone yeah. that wears something cool. Yeah, and it takes a picture of, of what they're wearing. So they, you could say, okay, Glass, I want this scarf or I want this skirt or I want this it bag. It can recognize the part even. Yeah, so um, once you do that, it sends you a notification of where you can buy a similar product, tells you the price, the name of it, and then you can tap to buy or find a nearby store. So you tap buy and it sends you an email with a link to where you can purchase that product on the website. Um, and then you can also find a nearby store. It navigates you to a store nearby where you can find that product, stuff like that. Um, this is absolutely awesome, but does it work? <laughs> um, right now, we're building it. Um, we're using, we're gonna, we're looking to use an API for photo recognition. So there's two companies that we're talking to right now. It's called Slice and Cortexica. Um, so we're just trying to figure out what's gonna work best for us. Um, but the main thing is to build a community around this photo recognition of fashion products, right? So we want to bring fashion stylists and fashion bloggers into the picture and help them recommend products to the consumer, right? And how do you link, it, link them up to the place to buy? How does that work? Um, so we're using uh, an API from ShopStyle. I don't know if you ever hear, heard of Pop Sugar, okay. um, but they have an API with a list of millions of products that we, we're going to tap into. So when it does the photo recognition, it scans all those products and gives you related products to choose from. So what are you doing here, the GigaOM roadmap? You're looking for partners, investors? What are you looking for? Uh, yeah, so we built a pretty good team. We have a team of nine right now. Um, a bunch of developers and uh, people doing marketing and and uh, we're looking to find investors but we're you know making the app function better and trying to build a prototype to uh, show investors and stuff like that so how soon how soon is it for real so we're thinking in, in a month we'll have a, a solid prototype to show really? investors and um, in the glass our, yeah our goal is to bring it onto iPhone Android and even the smartwatch so that Samsung watch that came out has a camera on it so we'd like to tap into everything that basically has a camera it's um, gonna be so awesome like uh, this is this is something that maybe girls would like, yeah. and they would just walk around the street and just look at cool stuff and yeah. say, "I want this, I want this," and yeah. just order. So one of the main problems is girls feel uncomfortable going up to other people saying, "Where did you get that bag? What what kind of <laughs> skirt is that?" You know what I mean? It's it's uncomfortable interaction, right? Whereas now they can just snap a picture while they're walking down the street or at a coffee shop or something, you know, and and, it, and then we tell you where you can buy it. You and know? and it won't be like a. a an insult, if somebody nearby you says, where can I get that? You'll be like, ah, somebody likes what I'm wearing. It's okay, yeah. right? Yeah. And you might even try to answer, but otherwise they'll figure it out themselves. Yeah, exactly. So. Cool. Yeah. All right, so is it gonna be free? You're gonna make money on like commissions? It's, yeah, it's gonna be free. We basically would make money from affiliate revenue. Um, so whenever someone goes to the retailer or brand's website, we make a percentage whenever they make a sale. What's you know? your background? What do you do before? Um, All so the people in the company. So if you check out AngelList, um, angel.co slash Glashin, G-L-A-S-H-I-O-N, you can see the whole team. Um, we, the whole team consists of basically um, people that have had startups, um, so we have a pretty solid team. You've been using it how long, the Glass? About four or five months now. 
And uh, so it's awesome, right? But it, it just needs the apps. It needs yeah. something cool. Yeah. And that's why you're doing this. Exactly. Cool. Being, being the first to market. Yeah, get mm -hmm. ahead of the curve before the glass comes out eventually. Cool. Before uh, glass becomes real, not just the developing thing. Exactly. How much glass development is happening in the Silicon Valley? Um, a lot. So, like, we've been tapping into the whole developer community because we have access to um, the API and um, the community of people that have it, right? So, I've been going to a bunch of events um, at Google and around here in San Francisco and meeting up with a bunch of developers. That, uh, Does it look like there's uh, enormous, like, excitement? Yeah, everyone that's involved is very excited. Cool. So the battery life needs to be, this is not version 2, right? No. But maybe the version 2 has a better battery life. Let's yeah. see. Yeah. And they're supposed to have new frames for the, the second version. So it should be more stylish and, um, you know, you can wear it with different clothing and colors and stuff like that. So. Cool. Awesome. Thanks. Boom. Working. I'm doing stuff.